while looking out the window at the twilight. There was a crippled tree that gave me a fright. When the trick-or-treaters come down the road, the tree will try to take their souls, spreading over the sidewalk to reach and grab them. Within the depths of its trunk, the evil will stem. As I peeked out from my window sill, the surprised trick-or-treaters gave out a squeal. The ghost ran away, the cat at a halt. I felt really bad, cause I think it's my fault. The evil magic started last Halloween. My cat got ran over. It was a horrible scene. Even though I was sad, her body I carried, because my mom said she had to be buried. I buried her under a special tree, and right at that moment I felt magic upon me. It felt like a tingle from my head to my toes, and all at once I knew I had to go. I didn't know why, but I had to scurry. I knew something bad was about to occur. I had a bad feeling inside of me that something was wrong, something was happening. I ran down the road to see what had happened. The tree was alive, it was snipping and snapping. When the tree saw me, it just stared. Wow, I couldn't believe it. I was so scared. I was so frightened, I almost peed. And a live tree, how could this be? When kids ran by, it grumbled and growled. It kicked up the wind as it grabbed and it howled. The kids ran as fast as they possibly could, but the tree had no chance. It was just made of wood. Each Halloween, the tree gets stronger. The power from the moon makes it stay alive longer. And that's why this year, I choose not to go outside and dress up like a cat or in the ghost. I was afraid it would just swallow me up. I felt so scared, I thought I'd upcheck. I knew I could do it and venture outside, and so I went through with it, because I had pride. I went outside, I had snakes in my stomach. I clenched my teeth and started to run it. I grabbed my shovel and started to dig. The cat was shriveled and looked like a fig. I picked her up with only two fingers. I biked to the river and in I will sling her. I really do hope this magic is done, so life will be normal and back to all fun. Now I will go out and start trick-or-treating. No more of just sitting in my room retreating. Now is my time because I was brave. The town is now safe with the ghosts out of its grave.